So we're looking at this example, guys. And again, what we want to look at uh, in this case is, again, this is already in standard form, right? So this one's nice. We don't actually have to do the work that we had to do in the last example. We can quickly and easily identify the center as 0, 0. We can quickly identify a squared as 16. It's not 16, it's not a squared because it's the largest, but because the formula is the a squared minus b squared, right? And therefore, b squared is equal to 9. Remember, the formula to find c squared is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a squared plus b squared is going to be 25. No, that's 20, yeah, 25. So therefore, c equals 5. Yes, no, maybe, so, OK. Um, so now this is, I mean, not too bad. We can figure this one out. We're at 0, 0. Now is my, is my transverse axis horizontal or vertical? Horizontal, horizontal because a squared is under x, right? So if this is my center, that means my foci and my vertices are going to go left and right. So again, the distance, of, the distance from, oh, that's right, a is 4, b is 3 c is 5. So remember, the distance from my center to my vertices is a. That means I'm just going to go to the right and left four units. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? So really, my vertices, I'm going to do a simplified version here, is really plus or minus 4, comma 0. Right? You're going to the right 4, you're going to the left 4, and the y coordinate is always 0 because it lies on the x-axis. My foci is a distance of c from the center, which is 5. So that's going to be plus or minus 5, comma 0. <coughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here's my vertice. There's my foci. Vertice, foci. Right? So we know that these hyperbola is going to have kind of two about facing parabolas, right? Going out, opening up horizontally. Um, now let's go and find the asymptotes. So the equation is different for the asymptotes. This is going to be y equals plus or minus b over a times x minus h plus k. Well, y equals b over a. Let's take a look at that. b over a is going to be 3 fourths. And then h and k is 0, so we can just write it as an x. So in this example, I really don't need to, in this example, I really don't need to um, do the box. You could do the box. There's nothing wrong with it. But guys, can we graph 3 over 4 plus or minus 3 over 4 x? I mean, it's not that hard. You're basically, your y-intercept is at 0. You go up 3, 1, 2, 3, which again is the b value. And then you're going over 4. So if you were to draw a box, that would be the corner, right? Up 3 over 4. Or you could go down 3 to the left 4. It's over there. And then we can just do a nice one there. That's one asymptote. And then we could do the negative slope. So left, um, up 3 to the left 4 or down 3 to the right 4. <coughs> and now you guys can see I have a nice little pretty hyperbola. Isn't that pretty? Maybe gorgeous? No. Beautiful? Yeah. 